In product development, people are always prototyping. That's a great thing to do. Um, but I think it's more important to be doing prototyping with a purpose. And I, I think sometimes we just build stuff because we can, because we're engineers, we're software developers, and we like to touch and feel and play with our stuff. Um, so a couple of thoughts to, to help you do prototyping with a purpose. Uh, just because there is 3D printing and all the other technologies and computer simulations doesn't mean that um, we're using them the right way or the best way that we can. I think one of the things is early prototyping. The earlier you can get vendors involved and work with them and get prototypes to start evaluating it, put some some semi-functional stuff in front of a customer, get feedback on a given functionality you want to evaluate, things that you're a little bit uncertain about or the requirements aren't maybe as firm as you'd like to have. So prototyping early, I think, is huge. And it doesn't have to be, we're not prototyping to get the right solution. We're trying to um, get something to get some, get some feedback. And so, um, you know, it's common in the uh, automotive industry People, I think, are pretty familiar with the fact that they use some clay in a wind tunnel to try and you know do some things, and they they really shape things with that clay. Clay isn't you know I've I've never seen other than the Flintstones a clay-based vehicle. Um, you know you can use cardboard, you can use plywood. Uh, there's a lot of things less than the actual final materials that you can do something to get some learning going, to get something done early. You don't have to wait for injection mold tooling or, or metal parts to be um, sand cast or something else. Um, and not just early, but strategic. Uh, you know, we're trying to think about, you know, the how do we want to explore this design, this process, um, and, and, and break it into phases. And, this prototype does this and that prototype does that. And, and it, it, to try and kind of have a, a strategy, not just prototype rev one, rev two, rev three, but again, the purpose of each prototype. And if, if you're building five of the same version, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna evaluate on each one of those five? It's not just, again, phase one, phase two, phase three, but really narrowed in strategic of what we're trying to accomplish. Maybe it's kind of a broad brush evaluation of the design space. Then we'll drill down to the next layer of details in our design later. And again, it's kind of been implied above, but I think prototyping, the focus has got to be on learning, not on producing a prototype with the, with the answer. Uh, you might, um, but I would rather see more prototypes fail and, and struggle, because that means we're pushing boundaries. Because um, if they pass, um, what did we learn? Um, that, that's a pretty limited prototype and kind of a waste of time. If you could do a prototype that works on day one uh, in all ways, you want to design them flexible so you can learn from them. And we, I think a learning organization is a solid organization. I believe that goes back to Peter Drucker, uh, the learning organization. Uh, we need to focus our engineers and our product development teams to focus on a prototype with a purpose and prototype for learning. I think that's going to accelerate performance and, and certainly speed things to market uh, that actually work and are accepted by the customer. If you do some early prototyping strategically, you know, what you're going to test and why, and then get that learning aspect. Does, again, that the prototype having some flexibility so you can adapt quickly and get the feedback desired. And then next round of prototypes much closer to a, not just the answer you imagine on day one, but the answer you need when you release it. If you would like to do some prototyping with a purpose, contact Superi Solutions. This is what we've done. Uh, a wide variety of industries, wide variety of teams. Uh, we can do, we've done it before, we'll do it again for you.